Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. My name's Michael Jex, I'm a writer and these videos are all about writing tools and playing with pens. What fun. Cheers. So today I'm not going to be talking about my pens or inks. Today is looking at notebooks again with two different ones. One with Tomo River Paper and one from Poland. Thank you very much to Marta. Right. Let's get and have a look. So here we have a tale of two notepads. Stupid introduction, I know. This was sent to me at the same time as I was sent a huge haul of different KWZ inks. Marta also sent me a notepad. And thank you very much, Marta. I thought it would be fun to try it out. Now, what is this? It is very much a business notepad. It's got Q book written on the back, so I assume it's by a firm called Q book. It has a number of tear out sheets. I don't know if it shows here, but that there and along there and down here and along there, those are all perforations. So you can tear out these sheets. One, two, three, th three sets of them, I think. Not that all the pages want to separate. There's either three or four pages of these tear-out sheets. Oh, four pages. There you go. The rest of it... Well, there's a dot grid set here, which is all also perforated right down. That's a nice idea. And then we're on to blocks. Squared off sheets. And the paper has... I would say it's like um, Claire Fontaine Rodia sort of surface. Very, very smooth. Almost feels as though it's been chemically treated like um, magazine paper to make, make it extra specially smooth. It feels lovely. Now, this, I think, came from a trade show of some sort because it has this page. Nope, I haven't got the faintest idea what it says either, but it's got what looks like a picture of a house and a picture of fields with cattle. So it's nice. It's got pictures of cattle. What more can you ask for? And so I wrote this out with some Blumar in my medium nibbed Visconti, which is, let's not be unfair, a ridiculously wet writer. And I'm afraid it didn't fare very well. I should say it feels thinner than 80 GSM. I'd say it's probably something like 60 or 70, uh, nearer 70 than 60. Yeah, this is what happened. It was not the best result. Now, a medium Visconti nib on my Homo sapiens means it's a gusher. It throws out a lot of ink. So I thought, well, actually, maybe that's unfair judgment on this notepad, because most people going into meetings using a notepad like this will be using pencil, biro, rollerball, or if they're using a fountain pen, almost certainly a fine or different type of nib. Now, I have fine nibbed pens. In fact, this was using my Visconti with a fine nib, using Eisengalos Tinta Scabiosa, from Rora on Klingner again. And it went on beautifully. It went on really nicely. But what do you think is over the page? Yes, absolutely fine. There's a bit of shadowing, but really not a problem at all. There's these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little spots where it came through a little bit. I think it's on the D there where it overlapped with the Y. So I think where it came through is where there was a little bit of overlap of some sort. But basically that means with a fine nib, even with a Visconti fine nib, fine nib, fine nib, what's that from? Even with a Visconti fine nib, this paper works really well. And Viscontis are gushers, as I say. However, at the same time, I've got to start writing some new books, and I have this delightful notebook that was given to me a while ago, 
This is from paperforfountainpens.com, an American company, I believe. And it is full of the most delightful, ludicrously thin, I mean, it is ludicrously thin, paper from Tomo River. Now, there's lots of things about this notebook I really like. I should just say, this notebook, really strong spine. It's a good one, but it does mean that lying it down f absolutely flat is not so easy. OK, well, that's just a, a limitation of glued spines. This, on the other hand, yes, it has a bit of lift, but it's very easy to work with. Now, what you do notice, of course, with Tomo River is it's pretty thin. And so these nice people at paperforfountainpens.com, and they tell me again there, have designed it, or have designed these lines, so that you can put down line sheets underneath the paper to write on. Nice and simple. And it's not just one sheet. Oh, no. Because they obviously thought about this. So you've got six millimetres sheet there and a seven millimeter sheet there just slightly fatter lines and if i return back here there's also a sheet with lines set out which are eight millimeters apart so you've got a choice of six seven and eight millimeters to write on as you can see very very easy to see through so you can you are guided nicely it is stitched bound as far as i can see it doesn't seem to be glued there is a glue backing there tell a lie but when you open it out fully then you can see that there's injection marks i thought that was for stitching it must be injection marks where the glue goes through maybe it is for stitching can't tell haven't had a look it's tomo river throughout apart from the front and the back and i would say this paper is like writing on blotting paper it's absolutely god awful never mind so how does the paper work well it's tomo river if it's tomo river you know how it's going to work so here we go we've got this section was written on the 8mm, this section was on the 6mm, which was a little bit tight, and then these were written on the 7mm. 7 is absolutely fine for me writing with a fine nib. When I'm writing with a good size, medium or broad, I think I'd have to go to the 8. 6mm for me was too close together. So... All these pages are written double-sided. You can see there is a little bit of shadowing when you look on the page, but absolutely no feathering, um, no bleed through, nothing like that. It is, as you'd expect with Tomo River, absolutely superb. When you're writing with a heavier, thicker nib, it can cause quite a lot of shadowing. And that would be distracting for me to be able to write, which is why I didn't stick with my medium Visconti. Interesting that the ink did come through a couple of times too. It's noticeable while you're writing with this paper that when you look on the reverse, as the ink's still drying, you can see each one of the letters has soaked into the paper so much that it makes the paper ripple around the line of your writing which does look a bit odd at first. This was all written with the grey plum from KWZ and it was absolutely gorgeous ink to use. And then I moved on to the Scabiosa from Rora and Klingner. You can see that the Scabiosa, when it's dried, does dry and leaves a little bit more of a purple tone to the colour, which I actually rather prefer. I loved this grey plum, but 
I preferred the colour of the Scabiosa dried, and I also liked the fact that you get much more shading with the Scabiosa. You do get some with this. You see it there, you can see it here. But it's a lot more, def or it seems to me to be a lot more defined with the Scabiosa. So, very happy with the Scabiosa. Now, these two notepads. Absolutely wonderful, and I'm very grateful to Marta for this one and to Drew for this one. I think it was Drew who sent me that. So very grateful to both of you. Is there anything I can say about the Q book? Yes. Very robust. Really good covers. I love the feel of the paper. If I was using pencil, rollerball, biro or only very fine nibs, I would have no problem with this whatsoever. As you can see, it's perfectly usable. That is really nice. It works well. The paper feels glorious. The cover feels extraordinarily robust. I like that. When I'm using notebooks, I will often reach for an A4 size when I'm at the stage I am now of designing new stories. This notebook is going to be used completely. It will be used to destruction because it is just such... It's, it's beautifully bound, it's beautifully functional, the paper feels glorious, although it does feel very, very thin. Um, but this hardback, really practical, very useful. So there you have it, two new notepads, both of them really rather wonderful. But I'm still resorting to this most days because it just feels so good and I do love that colour. There you go. Basically it's always picking your pads to suit yourself. It's horses for courses, whatever appeals to you at the time, that's the one you go with. Interestingly enough, I've been doing a lot of research recently about Agatha Christie because I'm going to be running um, another week-long tour for Smithsonian, Smithsonian Journeys, later this year. And a large part of that starts down in Torquay where I talk about Agatha Christie. And I've been doing a lot of research about her use of different notepads. There are well over 70 that are known and noted now. And the interesting thing was that she would clearly have an idea and pick up the nearest notepad, flick through it to the first empty page, and then write her notes down there. So her ideas for books could be split across different notepads. Ideas that she used in books could be the first, op the first clear page was 20 pages in, the next clear page was where she'd finished writing 50, 60 pages in. So you could find the same idea but split apart for many, many page over many, many pages. And I th I'm beginning to think that that's how a lot of writers work. Utterly disorganised, but the main thing is you have an idea, you put it down on paper, because once you put it down on paper it sticks up there a little bit better. That's why I have all these notepads. From Rodia's to Claire Fontaine's, to Moleskin Pro, to... There are lots of notepads there. None of them is completely full apart from that one. But that one we don't talk about. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope that was interesting. If it was and you like this channel, please hit the link down the bottom, takes you through to Patreon and you can help support the channel if you wish. There you go. If you've got comments to make, put them down the bottom. It would be very nice if you'd hit the button down which means you subscribe because YouTube like more subscribers and if you do hit the subscribe button and you want to know when a new video is coming out hit the bell button beside it because the bell button will then say there's a new video just come out. Apart from that share it tell your friends if you've got any friends who are geeks on notebooks and pens and inks and I will look forward to seeing you soon. I'll be back in a week's time. Bye bye. I should just say, 
I've got two dogs down here which are knackered and unhappy because I took them both out for a long walk and today is fairly typical of all the weather we've had this year. It is foul and disgusting. So they both had to have a walk, had a rub down, a dry off and now they're lying down looking unimpressed with the world. Ridgebacks much prefer sunny weather. On that bombshell, I'm off. Bye bye.